Sir Jim Ratcliffe takes swipe at Manchester United star in new book. Sir Jim Ratcliffe's investment at Manchester United is something we expect to go through in the coming weeks, but it doesn't seem like the Glazer family, or the lawyers working on the case, are in any rush to get the deal across the line. We've been told there's nothing to worry about on that front and it's only a matter of time before Ineos arrive, with their plans for a greater future at Old Trafford. They've got a mountain of work to tackle. However, there's never a shortage of drama, and the media certainly knows how to spin it. The Daily Mail has ran a report on the opening page of Ratcliffe's new book where he speaks about his travels and recalled a trip around the Pacific Ocean just to show how the other half lives. During this time, he felt the ground tremble every time the Cook Islander smashed into another in a local rugby match and added the one player was carted off in the back of a pickup with a broken leg. Ratcliffe carefully notes that experienced was a far cry from Bruno Fernandes clutching his untouched face in the Liverpool debacle recently which referenced the Portugal international's antics during Liverpool's 7-0 win over United back in March. That game, in actual fact, proved to be a bad turning point for Ten Hag. It all seems to have gone south since then. Fernandes faces no shortage of criticism and his club captain, we really need to demand better leadership when he's walking a suspension tightrope and gets suspended a week before our trip to Liverpool. That's essentially why he has been subject to so much criticism since the 3-0 defeat to Bournemouth. Ten Hag confirms he will allow 26-year-old to leave Man United in January. Eric Ten Hag is facing a big decision in terms of his squad planning for the second half of this season, with Sergio Regailan potentially returning to Tottenham Hotspur in January. Regailan was a deadline-day arrival at Manchester United following long-term injuries to both Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia. Regailan has plugged that gap when called upon but speaking recently, manager Ten Hag admitted there is a break clause in the season-long arrangement, meaning Tottenham could bring him back during the January window. The Dutchman revealed the clause in an interview and proceeded to explain that conversations would need to be held with Tottenham. We have to make a final decision on Regailan. But also there is Spurs who are involved in that conversation as well, he said. Shaw has already returned from his injury but Malaysia remains on the treatment table and it is yet unknown whether he will be back anytime soon. Manchester United give an injury boost as Case Miro returns to training ahead of Bayern Munich and Liverpool clashes. Manchester United have announced that Case Miro has returned to training just over a month after he picked up a serious hamstring injury on international duty. Case Miro has started training on the pitch, as the Brazilian steps up his recovery for Manchester United, a statement from the club read. On Sunday, the midfielder was spotted training alone on the grass at Carrington, while his teammates took part in a recovery session. However, it seems unlikely that the 31-year-old will be back playing in the near future with Eric Ten Hag previously saying that he didn't expect the defensive midfielder back before Christmas. That means he is set to miss United's huge week of fixtures, where they host Bayern Munich on Tuesday in a must-win Champions League clash before traveling to arch-rivals Liverpool on Sunday. A humiliating 3-0 defeat to Bournemouth on Saturday has left the Red Devils sixth in the Premier League. 10 points behind the Reds at the top of the table. As such the pressure has been mounting on Ten Hag and he'll be relieved to have Case Miro back at Carrington amid reports of discontent among the players. It is said that the manager has missed the influence of Case Miro and Lisandro Martinez in the dressing room as he looks to get the full support of the squad back. Case Miro was one of United's best players last season but so far this campaign the Real Madrid legend has looked a shadow of his former self. 
Though the likes of Johnny Evans and Luke Shaw have returned to full fitness recently, there are still many other injury issues that United are dealing with, including Martinez, Christian Eriksen and Mason Mount. Captain Bruno Fernandes will also miss the trip to Anfield through suspension, but in better news promising youngster Ahmad Diallo has returned to training having recovered from a lengthy knee injury.